We see them along the freeways, concrete barrier walls placed to help protect drivers. Crews use different methods to construct these concrete barrier walls. One method is called slip forming. Crews with the I-10 Broadway Curve Improvement Project are using the slip forming method to construct concrete barriers in some areas of the project. With this method, a machine continuously pours concrete into a desired form or shape, such as this barrier wall. The rebar cage behind me is going to be part of the support system for the new concrete barrier wall that's being constructed. Once these rebar cages are in place, concrete will be poured around the rebar, creating a footing or base for the new concrete barrier wall. Then, a concrete machine like this one will be used to pour the concrete into the desired shape of a concrete barrier wall using the slip forming method. Learn more about the Interstate 10 Broadway Curve Improvement Project by visiting i10broadwaycurve.com and download the free project mobile app called The Curve.